Okay, you'll never believe this. I just opened the door. Hey, what pretty eyes. Like, this is a pretty <laughs> face here. Yes, that's right. A box turtle literally showed up at my doorstep today. I named her Gladys, fed her a hard-boiled egg, and sent her along her merry way. Serve the servants today! By Nirvana for Siri Mac 2442, Noah Quintana, LH Dominator, and Smokey McBonwater. <laughs> I was going to say that kind of sloppy so you can't hear me. But before we begin, I would like to thank, with the utmost sincerity, Lucas Henrique Garcia, Bryn Orlowski, and Seth Mason for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club Lady. And gentlemen, thank you so very much. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, will be in the description. The first thing we gotta do, I'm sorry to say, is of course, detune your guitar one half step down. So instead of Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye Eddie, you will have E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. All the strings go down one note. If you don't know how to do that, I've made a video on how to do that, and I will put that gingerly as a link in the description for you. And then we have the disaster chord. Disaster chords are designed to be ambiguous and disgusting. So all we can really do is take our best educated guess and move on. But to be truthful, it doesn't matter what you play because they're supposed to sound terrible. So as long as you play something that doesn't sound right, you're, you're doing it right. Um, but I will show you my very best educated guess here. And we know Kurt likes this shape. Grab A11, D12, G13, and B14, he uses it in the breed solo, right? And that sounds great. There's a lot of the right notes in there, but I can't help uh, but notice that there's an E note in that disastrous situation, and we've got an E note here, but that's way too low. We've got an E note here, but that's way too ringy-outy. But what if we put our thumb on the 12th fret of the E string? That gets everything for me anyways, and further evidence for this being right is then we hear the B and the E strings 14th fret before we get into the verse. So I like that. Or do anything else at all, it really doesn't matter as long as it sounds really, really, really bad. And now we're moving. Grab the A string 2nd fret with your middle finger, the D string 1st fret with your pointer finger, and the G string 2nd fret with your ring finger, and you are going to pluck A, D, G, A, G, and then open D. Before you slide into, all you really need is D2 and B3, and you're going to pluck D, 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 B, D, B, D. But watching the live versions, Kurt bothered to put his pointer finger on the G string first fret, and that's because what he's doing here is making a little tiny E7 chord, and he probably didn't want to play a wrong note should he accidentally pluck a wrong string. So you could do that too and kind of just pluck kind of however you want, and that would be great. And then we need F sharp major, normally a bar chord, not now, because we're going to do two, four, four, three, and we're going to play the low strings twice, followed by an up strum, emphasizing the open E and B strings, and then a regular old E chord. So... By the way, if you like this tone so very much that you just have to have it for yourself, I am using the Siren Aravata Distortion Pedal, and they have extended a 20% off coupon code just for you. I'll put their website and the coupon code in the description. I don't even get paid any money if you buy it. I just really like these pedals, and they send them to me, <laughs> so that's really nice of them too. They're nice guys. And then the chorus, Serve the Servants, I believe it's the same trick we just did with the F-sharp major chord and the open B and E strings, but three frets higher at A. So, in fact, I saw Pat Smear's hand doing that to expose those open strings in the versions he played on, so... Followed by a C-sharp major chord, but we're going to put a fifth in the bass, so you're going to have 4-4-6-6-6. Four, four, six, six, six. chord, C power 
followed by, followed by another ADM. Ambiguous, disgusting moment. On the record, I think it's gonna be B string 19th fret, G string 21st fret. You're gonna bend the G string kind of slow, not the B string. Also, let any and all other open strings ring out as well for simply just the worst noise you've ever heard in your entire life. <laughs> Uh, but again, the point is to be horrible and awful, so anywhere you do that is completely fine. And you know, Kurt has, in the several live versions on YouTube, he did it in different places uh, each time. So do that, I call that the two becomes one move, because whatever note the B string is on, the G string is becoming. So two becomes one. But you can do that anywhere at all and just be as gross as you can possibly be and it'll be great. In fact, in one of the live versions I keep referencing, he, he did this up here. And then he proceeded to hit the E and B strings 19th fret before he went into the next verse. So more credence to this idea. One super nitpicky thing I just heard about the verse. Once he starts singing, it goes from to gonna add an A string, he's gonna do it faster and go A, D, A, G, A, G, open D. Once he starts singing, you can do that. You can ignore it. You can always just play B7. So, yeah. Uh, welcome to the super nitpicky edit portion of the video. I just heard that the F sharp at the end of the chorus is indeed the open B and E string F sharp major chord before the C power chord. F sharp power chord works just as well. Do either one you like. This solo is kind of cool. Oftentimes Nirvana solos are total nonsense solos where you can just do anything at all and it will be a great solo for that song. This song bases, this solo bases itself around the E minor pentatonic scale. So zero three, zero two, zero two, zero two, zero three, zero three. So mess around with that, but be sure to throw in a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't belong. So it, so it sounds more righter, right? Also, there's no such thing as a wrong note as long as you meant to do it. So, you know, it kind of starts on the G string fourth fret, bending it like a crazy person, and then makes his way down the pentatonic and then kind of me trying to do the solo note for note, that was me trying to do E minor pentatonic stuff, random stuff, and E minor pentatonic stuff in as sloppy a fashion as possible. That's what you should do too. But yeah, that's it, because at the end you just make a whole bunch of random noise, lots of room for your own artistic interpretation in this song. How fun. Thank you so much for this request, guys. Thank you for being here for this one. I hope that was fun and helpful. I'll see you next time with more stuff. And for those of you who stuck around till the end, I have your reward, the video of Gladys eating her hard-boiled egg. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Goodbye.